Solar Expressway Gets Road Tested in China The People's Republic of China is testing a solar expressway. The one-kilometer expressway was built in Jinan in eastern China with 5,875 square feet of solar panels. The road is comprised of three parts, insulation on the bottom, the solar panel in the middle, and weight-bearing transparent concrete on the top. According to Chinese state media outlet Xinhua, the road can generate enough power for 800 homes. How much it cost is unknown, but the company that made it said it was half the cost of similar projects in foreign countries. Stick around for more on renewable energy. Saudi Arabia plans to build a $500 billion megacity. Looking for a new vacation destination? How about Saudi Arabia? No, seriously. The Saudi Arabian government says it plans to build a $500 billion megacity that stretches into Jordan and Egypt and is completely powered by renewable energy. The project is called NEOM and will measure 10,230 square miles, which is 33 times larger than New York City. One of the main goals of NEOM will be to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy in an attempt to move it beyond oil. The megacity will focus on industries such as energy and water, biotechnology, food, advanced manufacturing, and entertainment. The $500 billion will come from the Saudi government, its sovereign wealth fund, and local and international investors. The biggest ever wind farm is set to be built off the British coast. The UK government might be gearing up for a so-called hard Brexit, but that doesn't mean it's stopping work with European companies. The world's largest wind farm is said to be built 90 miles off the British coast by Danish energy firm Dong. When completed in 2022, the wind A power plant that takes away carbon emissions. Say hello to the world's first negative emissions power plant. The geothermal plant in Iceland, in cooperation with Climeworks, will remove an estimated 50 metric tons of carbon dioxide from the air each year. The process works by pulling carbon dioxide from the ambient air using a special filter. The heat from the power plant warms up the filter, which extracts pure carbon dioxide. The gas is then combined with water and pumped 700 meters underground. When the carbon dioxide reaches basaltic rock, it forms minerals. The project is still in the pilot phase, but researchers at Climeworks believe negative emissions plants could be set up around the world. One major obstacle in place is the price. Climeworks estimates it runs around $600 to extract one ton of carbon dioxide from the air. However, if economies of scale can be utilized and more plants open up, that price would drop significantly. Floating Atlantic wind farm could meet the world's energy needs. Would you believe it if we told you the entire world could be powered by a wind farm in the Atlantic? We're not blowing hot air here. According to a new study, building a deep-sea wind farm the size of India that stretches across the North Atlantic could meet the whole world's power needs. Land-based wind farms can produce around 1.5 watts per square meter, while a wind farm in the Atlantic would be able to generate 6 watts per square meter. Several engineering challenges would have to be overcome. A deep-sea wind farm would have to operate in remote and harsh conditions, where waves frequently exceed 3 meters. Laying transmission cables that stretch across the ocean floor, then connect to floating turbines in open ocean, would be another obstacle. A project that big would also require international cooperation and a whole lot of money. Good thing we all get along so well.